Hello friends, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, right? Another Frilici Friday. I'm Amy Frilici and we are here to have some fun today. We are playing with some new stuff. We're so close. So retiring lists are kind of uh, winding down, I guess I'd say. I meant to look um, before we hopped on and I'm just realizing I didn't even get a chance to do that, but I know that there are quite a few things sold out already. Lynn, hello, welcome. But in the meantime, I'm gonna show you some new stuff because starting next Tuesday, May 2nd, can you believe it's gonna be May already? Uh, we will be able to pre-order, or I guess not even pre-order, but order out of the new catalog. Hi, Jamie, thanks for joining us. So let me show you guys, we are going to be playing today with this new bundle called the Cheerful Daisy. So there's the stamp set and then a set of dies. So fun uh, imagery in here. Hi, Sharon. Hello. Thank you for the balmy blue cardstock. You saved my life on that one. So hi, Anna. Welcome. Um, so yes, we have uh, sentiments like, oh, look, like Sharon right here. You made my day. I just used that sentiment right there. Vina, Bonnie, hello, hello, welcome, and thanks for sharing the video. Oh, this is a cute one too. What does it say? Oops, a daisy. So sorry. Hi, Philomena. Thanks for joining, ladies. Um, wishing you the brightest birthday. That's a fun one too. And then, oh, that's good, right? This your friendship means everything. So lots of great sentiments, lots of fun imagery in this new cheerful daisy stamp set. And then check this out, ladies. Look at all of these dies and I'll show this to you again but you can see so here's um there's an example let's see I don't want everything to fall off but um <clears throat> so can you see this one kind of lays over top so you can do lots of fun detail um and then die cut it out or this die coordinates with the stamp that's in the stamp set and there are a couple of cases like that like you can see this one there's some detail so you can just cut it out of like uh, cardstock, maybe some designer series paper, and then have lots of detail or just use the outline. This is a fun one too. If you guys see this, we're going to use this today. That's a full die. It's all, you could cut it apart if you wanted to. I kept mine together because I think it looks beautiful, just all on its own like that. So lots of fun, lots of, um, oh, and then a label die down here too. So that's kind of cool. You have to, I always love to have those in there also because I think of the daisies and then I always try to remember, oh, there's like a, a label, like, a, and that's a good size too, kind of a good um, smallish label die right there too. So again, these products <clears throat> are in the new mini catalog that you'll be able to order of out of <laughs> starting on next Tuesday, May 2nd. If you're a demonstrator, we were able to pre-order these things. It's, it was pretty limited like it usually is with the... Um, you know what, Sharon? I did not check that out. Do the dies cut from the DSP? Quite possibly. Um, I guess I'm gonna have to check that out. And actually, I ordered one package of the um, the Daisy, I don't know the exact name, but the Daisy Designer Series paper. And I'm actually giving it away tomorrow at our one day retreat, so I haven't even opened it yet. But this afternoon, I'm gonna go set up for that. So I'll check that out and let you know. It might even say in the catalog too, I'm thinking though that there's a good chance that some of those outline dies um, would cut out of the designer series paper too, because they've definitely been doing that. So I'll let you know on that one. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna be playing with that awesome bundle. Um, let's see, in the meantime, oh, home recovering from surgery. Jamie, I hope um, that was a planned thing and not an unexpected thing, although surgery is never fun either way, but hopefully you're doing well and recovering and resting and relaxing and yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's so cute, Sharon. You want the designer series paper anyway? Yeah, yeah, I, like I said, I haven't even had a chance to open it, so I'm really anxious to do that when I um, set everything out for the raffle today for the retreat that's tomorrow. Um, so I'll be checking that out too. Um, so yes, in the meantime though, not to kind of jump ahead because you still have a few days left of retiring lists, right? So don't forget the lists are so long, like a page and a half out of the mini catalog, like five pages out of our current annual catalog. Uh, yeah, the whole suite. Yeah, you got to get the whole suite for sure, sure. Um, yes, but anyway, so and make sure we still have a few days. So what's today? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. We have five days left 
to order retiring products. So like I said, there's a huge list of things from the mini catalog, from the annual catalog. Lots of things have sold out already, so check that out. The easiest way is to just go right online, stampinup.com. There's a big banner that says last chance items or retiring something 60% off, up to 60% off. Just click on that and you'll see pictures of everything that's still available that's retiring, including the sale prices of everything too. So um, <clears throat> one last reminder about our colors that are retiring. I'm gonna show you one more time. There are colors that are retiring. Um, and some of these, like I said, have sold out already. Not everything though, um, but we have, so we've got Mango Melody going away. Pacific Point going away. Bermuda Bay, lots of tears for this one going away, for me anyway. Uh, so Saffron is going away. Pear Pizzazz is going away. Blushing Bride, can, it's like, it's a lot. There are a lot going away. Mint Macaron is going away. Rich Razzleberry is leaving us. Sahara Sand. Uh, Mary Merlot. <laughs> Abby, hello. Thanks for joining us. Um, this one is uh, Soft Suede. I'm gonna forget these colors like before you know it. Then these are our in colors that are retiring. The one color that's carrying over is Fresh Freesia. Hi Beth, thanks for joining us. So Polished Pink is retiring, Soft Succulent is retiring, um, Pale Papaya is retiring, and Evening Evergreen is retiring. So those are this whole like smash of colors right here that everything in these colors, gone, gone, gone. So you have a couple more days, make sure you don't miss out on things if you want them, any of these retiring colors, get them. You have five days left to do that, okay? All right, I have so much stuff. Like I've already gotta like move things out of the way. Okay. Um, Oh yes, I've almost forgot about this. So here's another, we did, um, so I did a little contest that was back at our celebration celebration. And then also a couple of friends in, of mine and I did this where we kind of, we all made our list of what colors we thought were retiring before Stampin' Up! announced them. Um, and I was actually the winner. I, I don't even remember if we, if we picked like six different colors and I think I had three out of the six, everybody else had two or one out of the six. So what they had to do was make cards with the colors that are retiring and send them to me. Um, couple of friends are slackers, but I have, I have um, two of them actually from Miss Jennifer Bradley. So I have to show you guys, these are, this is an example. She, and this I think she did with her Cricut, um, like this stamping, she kind of gave, it's so funny, actually I'll show you. Here's her whole list of like, how, what she did to make both of her cards. So pretty hilarious. Um, but anyway, actually, so she used a soft, soft suede card base. And then you can see this is um, designer series paper in each of the colors that is retiring. So I thought that was kind of a fun way to showcase. We were laughing, you know, like how ugly are these cards going to be if you try to use um, like all of the colors that are retiring. But actually, she did a really good job. It's another um, another friend made the comment. She's like, yeah, Jennifer just she can try, but she just can't make ugly cards. So no matter what, she makes cute cards, which is very, very true. So yeah, so here's an example of all the colors that are going away. Very sad, right? Um, but then here's another, this one's beautiful too, right? So she used some of the retiring colors um, with her blending brushes right there too. So isn't that so pretty? But yeah, so these are the retiring colors, like I said, but then we're getting all these fabulous new colors, which I don't think I had when we did our last Facebook Live because I know orders have been taking a really long time, which is driving everybody crazy, including myself. We just kind of have to, you know, get over it, move on, wait patiently, which is not my forte. Um, but yes, now I have all of the new colors. So I want to share with you guys the new in colors, and I'm still kind of learning them, but I think I've got them down. Okay, so here I'll kind of spread these out. Very um, on trend kind of... Um, uh, what's the word like earthy, right? I think one of one of maybe it was Philomena. I can't remember who said they're very earthy looking colors. Willa Dean, hello, welcome. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow at the retreat. And Beth, I think, is on here too. We'll see you tomorrow as well, Beth. Okay, so in colors, brand new 2023-25 in colors. So we earthy, yes, exactly, Miss Philomena. Okay, so this one is Moody Mauve, Boho Blue, Copper Clay pebbled path and wild wheat and i'm gonna i have like all the 
packs of cardstock here too. So I'm gonna make sure you have Moody Mauve, Boho Blue, Copper Clay, Pebbled Path, and Wild Wheat. Okay, so I have all the names. <laughs> I know I can't wait to, Willadine. I'm gonna go get everything set up this afternoon so we'll be all ready to go in the morning. Um, yes, okay, so these are the new in colors. Then, um, actually, let me tell you about In Color Club too while I'm thinking about that. So if you're interested in getting all of the products in our brand new in colors, so I gotta grab my little cheat sheet here. This is a flyer that I love to um, post online. I'm on the, have I done that? I gotta make sure I'm doing that if I haven't, yes. And then also put in people's orders. So this is everything that you can get in the In Color Club. Basically, you get all of the product in, say, Moody Mauve one month, and then the next month, Boho Blue, the next month, Copper Clay, the next month, Pebble Path, and then the last month would be Wild Wheat. I kind of, I have a little spreadsheet. I put your name on each of the colors in each of the months um, and kind of randomly decide who's getting, you know, what color each month. Then, so for five months, right, it is $59 for all of this product. Okay, so for example, first month, if your color is Moody Mauve, you're going to get the cardstock. Okay, you're gonna get the ink pad, you're gonna get the ink refill, you're gonna get the ribbon, I'm gonna show you that in just a second. You get the Stampin' Blends, you get, or the, yeah, Stampin' Blends, you get the markers. Um, oh, the Designer Series paper in that color, I think, is that it? So let's see, is that seven? Oh, and then actually there's um, a jute trim, so you're gonna get a full spool of that. So that's eight things. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, so all of those eight things in each of these colors for $59. Then you're actually the host one month in the In Color Club. So the month that you're the host, you get the In Color Dots in these beautiful colors, and then you also get to pick $20 in free product, anything that you want out of the new catalog. And I ship those out to you every single month for the five months. Um, like I said, $59 per month, and you'll get all of the products in all of these beautiful in colors over a five month period. My first order is actually going in next Tuesday. So if you're interested in joining the In Color Club, let me know and I can get your name on my little spreadsheet and get your colors figured out and get an order put in for you so you can get that very first month right away in one of these In Colors. Yay, good, good stuff, right? Okay, so let's see. I'm still trying to figure out <laughs> where I'm moving everything. Okay, so then I wanna show you guys all of the new or returning colors. So we have quite a few uh, prior in colors that retired however many years ago that are coming back as our core colors now. So let me show you guys those. We are gonna start, let's start with the returning um, in colors. So we have Lost Lagoon. I wonder if I can turn that, if I turn it that way, right? Yeah, because then I can see the label and you guys see the color. That's what we're going to do. Hi, Brenda. Thanks for joining us. So Lost Lagoon is coming back to us. And these actually, these first three were all in colors at the same time. This one is Berry Burst coming back to us. Lemon Lime Twist, that fun, bright, like limey green coming back in. Misty Moonlight is coming back in. Uh, pretty Peacock, this is my friend Stacy's favorite color. Well, this and Lost Lagoon, very, she was very, very excited about both of those colors. And then Blueberry Bushel. So lots of um, kind of blues and greens. So here's a little like, can I spread this out? Got my full packs of cardstock, right? So maybe if I go, yeah, maybe you can see them a little bit better. Yeah, so lots of blues and greens, which I love blues and greens. So that's very, very exciting. Okay, so those are the in colors that retired, coming back now as core colors, okay? Then we have some brand new, never before seen colors, like, this one is pretty, Lemon Lolly. Uh, this one is Bubble Bath. Then we have Azure Afternoon and Pecan Pie. So let me show you guys. They're kind of, they're just really pretty. I think of like baby, baby car, baby color, baby color cards, <laughs> baby card colors. I don't know. Um, the, the pink and the blue and the yellow, right? They are very soft, um, just beautiful colors, right? Something different that we haven't had. So we're going to have lots of fun playing with those new colors. You can see they're kind of featured now that you kind of um, I showed you those cardstock packs. You can see they're definitely featured on our new catalog. I can't show you the inside yet. Next week, you guys can see the inside of the catalog on our next Facebook Live. Not quite yet. If you are interested in getting a catalog, if you don't have one yet, if you'd like me to send one out to you, 
please let me know. I would be happy to do that. Um, love to get one of these um, catalogs in your hands so you can peruse and put your wish list and your order together, decide what you need out of this new catalog as well. Okay, let's see. Mm -mm -mm. I know, oh, oh, I know, I was gonna show you the ribbon too. I almost forgot about that. Okay, so this, these are the in color ribbons. So again, first one, copper clay, boho blue, wild wheat, moody mauve, and pebbled path. And let me show you, because they're really pretty. I think, what are they calling them? Um, a textured ribbon, and there definitely is a texture. Lori, hello, welcome. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's definitely, it does have some texture, um, so it's kind of a weighty ribbon. Um, beautiful, beautiful ribbon. So in all of our in colors, right? So I just had to share those with you guys too, because they're beautiful, right? Okay. <laughs> oh, I also wanted to tell you guys about the Designer Series Paper Share. So let me grab... I grabbed my little cheat sheet about that one too. All of a sudden I'm like, I don't know if I've been posting about these online. I've been so busy with my other jobs or like taking over my life. I feel like that I haven't been able to um, kind of update things on Facebook here as much as I would like to. So I'm gonna make sure to do that. Um, if you're interested in participating in the Designer Series Paper Share, my first order is going to go in on Tuesday as well. So let's see. I think I did this before, but there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve packs of new designer series paper in our annual catalog. You get a quarter of a pack of all of those papers, plus you get a free sample of the new in color, the 2023-2025 in color designer series paper. It's $45 to get a paper share. If you need it shipped to you, additional $10 for the priority mail shipping. And like I said, my first order is gonna go in next week on Tuesday. So you can comment right here if you're interested in um, getting into a paper share. I can send you a PayPal link. You can do credit card, cash, check, whatever. I take all forms of payment. So love to get you signed up for the Designer Series Paper Share and the In Color Club to get you rolling with some of our new products from our new annual catalog. Woohoo! Okay, um, let's see. You know, I always have to check my little, my scribbly notes here. You guys don't wanna see the notes because even I have a hard time reading them and I'm the one that wrote them. Um, but let's see, yep, I think we're doing, all right, yeah, we're good. Let's do our first drawing for the Champagne Rhinestones. Retiring, oh, they're so pretty too. I remember when they came out a few years ago, was in one of our mini catalogs with like a Parisian suite. The suite was beautiful and I totally fell in love with those champagne rhinestones and now they carried them over for a while, a few years, but they're going now. So this is one of your last chances. If you don't win, if you didn't share the video or if, just if you don't win in this drawing, you can still order them um, for a couple more days, right? What did we say, five more days? So if you shared the last Facebook Live video or signed up for my email list, which the link is always right here on the details to this Facebook Live video, you're gonna miss them too, Anna. I know, they're so pretty, aren't they? Um, but if you did that, your name is right here in my little in my little basket, right? As I'm like shaking everything around. Okay, so one lucky winner. Oh, I got like a bunch of them stuck together. So I gotta separate those. Okay, yeah, okay, I think they're all separated now. I just can't, I can't do it. I'm, and then I'm always afraid I'm like getting more than one out um, of the basket. But okay, Miss Diane Kreitz, congratulations. You are the winner of the Champagne Rhinestones. Valerie, hello, welcome. Thanks for joining us. So Miss Diane, I will put these out on the porch for you. Stop by anytime to pick them up. Okay, all right, we'll get those out of there. Get ready for the next drawing. Okay, so on our next Facebook Live, which is actually gonna be two weeks from today, so I think it's May 12th, um, we will be drawing for, these are the iridescent pearls. They're beautiful, you kinda, they're kinda opaly, right? Um, they're, I don't know, it's hard to see in this light, I guess. Not much sun today, unfortunately. We had lots of sun yesterday, though. Um, but this is what we'll give away on our next Facebook Live. If you share this Facebook Live video right here, or if you sign up for my email list, or if you share the um, the class to go kit post that I'm working on, the class to go um, this weekend, then I'll have that info for you next week um, on our next class to go too. So yes, we have those cute little iridescent rhinestones or pearls, excuse me, iridescent pearls that we'll be giving away for sharing the video, signing up for me, signing up for my email list, and sharing the class to go kit post. Okay. 
Um, let's see, let's see. What else do I want to share with you guys? Oh, okay, so we had our team meeting. That was last Tuesday. I always love to show you guys what we did at our team meeting, right? So we had Make and Takes featuring, this is a really beautiful stamp set called Growth Take Times. Growth Takes Time, excuse me. And I love, because it's got some different sentiments in it and they're all um, very meaningful sentiments, I think. Um, so this first one says, be patient, your time will come be gentle with yourself look how far you've come and growth takes time now this is a stamp set that you're not going to find in the catalogs right it's part of um kind of a new thing this last couple of months stampin up has started to do something called online exclusives so this is a stamp set that's only available online you just won't see it in print in any of our catalogs. Um, and it's available a kind of I, while supplies last. Um, that's kind of the thing about the online exclusive. So if there's something that you see, like for example, if you decide, oh, I really like this stamp set, really love the sentiments in here, just order it as soon as you can um, because there's just no time frame. You know, if, if it's in the annual catalog, it will be available for the whole year. Um, it might go on back order, but it'll come back in stock. These, at some point, the, the supply is gone and then they're sold out. Hello, Amy. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow at the retreat as well. Um, so yeah, so awesome stamp set. Let me show you um, some beautiful cards that we made. Also featuring the Radiating Stitches dies, which are another one that are an online exclusive. Um, they are sold out right now, but they're going to be back in and available um, around May 8th. So I want to show you guys these because the you can really kind of see that the stitching on there and then the beautiful stamping and sentiments, right? So again, these were our make and takes at our Inspired Stampers team meeting that we did last week. And this is a good one, right? Look how far you've come. And I love kind of layering the stitching dies. So these are the radiating stitches dies. I used them on our last Facebook Live also. This is a cool one too. They have a bunch of circles with stitches. Die cut those and then just layer them on there and kind of trim the edges. And then the white um, embossed on the black cardstock. Very striking, huh? So yes, those were our make and takes. Again, featuring that growth takes time stamp set from our meeting. We also do swapping at our meeting, which is so fun. And I am... Do I know who any of these? I'm gonna to try to figure out by process of elimination. So this was a card, oh, so this is perfect too. Sharon Greening made this one, um, also featuring, if you guys can see, the radiating stitches dies. It's a little bit hard to tell, right? But she used the cute little circles there with some, are those the champagne rhinestones? Mm, they might be, uh, yeah, but beautiful, huh, right? So we got a couple of this radiating stitches dies there. So it says shared on the back of that one. Um, I am trying to remember, I think that Sunday did this card right here with the beautiful scalloped contours dies. Then, oh good, here's another one. So Charlene did this card, she made this card. Isn't that so fun with that little thank you and the little like, window word bubble. I'm pretty sure that um, Charlene designed, or it was either Charlene or Jenny, I guess. Those are the two that I have left here. Um, so we've got this one right here with that fun fold. Isn't that so? I love, love these fun folds and then also featuring lots of pretty designer series paper. And so then this one, again, it's either Jenny or, <laughs> or um, um, not, oh my gosh, I'm totally drawing a blank. Elsie, Jenny or Elsie <laughs> made this one too. And I love kind of the designer series paper too, using that. It's a fun way to feature like three different patterns of designer series paper. So yes, we do swapping. And even if you're long distance, if you're a long distance team member, if you're thinking about getting the starter kit, you can participate in the make and takes because I mail those out to you. Swapping, if you make, so for example, make 10 of this card, mail them to me. I swap them out with everybody and then mail them back to you. So you can participate in a swap even if you're long distance. Um, we also do a fun thing called the mystery card, the mystery challenge. 
at our team meeting. And basically what I do is I post um, kind of all of the measurements, everything that you need to know to make the project, but I don't actually show you the card. And then you kind of um, cut and bring all of those things that you need. And we build our mystery project card together at class. So that was or at, um, at our team meeting. So this was the card that I made featuring <laughs> so cute, the Forest Friends Designer Series paper. Retiring, make sure you get this super cute paper while you can, right? So it says, oh, hello. And then the inside opens up. It's one of those cootie catcher cards cars almost, right? Do, do you guys remember those when you were little? It makes me want to make one actually with the different colors and I can't remember what all you'd write inside there, but it, that's what it reminds me of, a little cootie catcher and it just says, thinking of you. So fun little project there and it's always like the, oh, that's what you were trying to do, you know, um, with the measurements and, and scoring and that sort of thing. So it's kind of fun to see it come together. Um, the mystery is solved, I guess, at our meeting. Um, another thing that I love to do is send cards out to all of our top five sellers in the month. So this was my top five sales card to our expired stampers this month, featuring some of our new colors, the Moody Mauve and Pebbled Path, and then that Cheerful Daisy stamp set that we're going to play with some more in just a little bit. Oh, and it also has that cane weave embossing folder, if you can see that too, and some of the new in color dots and some of that Pebbled Path ribbon also. So beautiful, right? And then last, I just had to share because I think you guys know this, that I um, celebrated my 15 year anniversary with Stampin' Up! back in March and they sent me, I think I love the box as much as I love um, what's inside, but isn't this so cute? I'm like, oh, what can I do with this box, right? So it's got this little tabby thing there. You just pull that off. And then inside is my 15 year pin. So that I wear all my pins proudly and I have a Stampin' Up! apron that I wear at classes and events. So I'm gonna take this with me tomorrow and put it on my apron um, so that I have it that I can wear proudly. 15 years, it's really hard to believe it's been that long. And like I said, I'm not getting rid of that box because it's so cute. I'm yet to decide what I'm doing with it, but I'll find something fun to do with it too. So, um, oh, and then also have to give a congratulations, Miss Trish Hall, who is one of our expired stampers, just promoted to Bronze Elite this month. So she, that means she reached $1,800 in the rolling 12 month sales and she got a 5% pay increase. Basically she was um, earning like 20% income on all of her orders. Now she's earning 25% income on all of her orders. So congratulations Miss Trish. That's one of the best parts about reaching Bronze Elite is that additional pay bump, that 5% pay increase. So congratulations Trish, we're excited for you on that. So woohoo, woohoo. Um, okay, let's see. I think we're going to do our next drawing, which um, is for the By the Bay Designer Series paper. If you put an online order in through me of at least $50, anytime between um, last night and our last Facebook Live a couple Fridays ago, your name is in the drawing to win this By the Bay Designer Series paper. You also automatically receive both of these cards that I made on our last Facebook Live. You can see that's the one that features those radio needing stitches dies as well. So you definitely get these two cards as a thank you from me. You also receive one of the Dandy Designs little sampler paper packs as a thank you from me. And you got to pick from either the March Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial, which features this project right here, or the free embellishment for is that no that was april i'm like that's wrong the april pdf tutorial or the april free embellishment which are the iridescent pearls okay so lots and lots of good stuff okay so names are in the basket one lucky winner let me shake these around will win that by the bay designer series paper okay let's see all right here we go. We have one name in my hand. Yes, only one. Okay, good. Okay, Teresa Hinchman. All right, congratulations. You are the winner of the By the Bay Designer Series paper, along with all of those other goodies that I mentioned as a thank you for your order. So thank you very much for your order. And anyone else that ordered, thank you for your orders as well. I'll get your thank you packages sent out this weekend. Probably get those put together on Sunday after um, the retreat is, after I've recovered from the treat, retreat, I'll say. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think we are ready. Oh, actually, let me tell you guys, 
This is what we're gonna give away if you put an online order in through me using, we're gonna start the May host code already, even though it's the very end of April, I'm gonna give you that new host code in just a sec. If you order online through me, um, at least $50, your name is gonna go in the drawing to get this beautiful, this is the 2022-24 in color glimmer paper, right? So featuring Orchid Oasis, Tahitian Tide, Sweet Strawberry, or Sweet Sorbet, um, Parakeet Party, and um, Starry Sky. Beautiful, right? This might be Orchid Oasis, that might be Starry Sky. Anyway, you guys get the idea, but this is what you could win if you order through me um, using the host code, okay? All right, I think we've got it. I'm like looking around, looking around. Well, I have one more thing. I'm gonna show you the guys the scrapbook pages that we made at class this week, but well, we're gonna flip the camera down and then I'll show you those, so. Okay, Miss Diane, hello, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Okay, so turn your heads away. We're flying through the air. Gonna flip the camera down and show you some more good stuff. Okay. All right. Looks good. We're gonna flip. Oh, I'm gonna grab my glasses out of the way. There we go. Okay, so new host code for May, starting a little bit early. The PQT44TN2 is what you wanna use to order to get all the freebies from Facebook Live and your name ent entered into the drawing to win that in color glimmer paper. Okay, oh, that's right. I was gonna show you guys these scrapbook pages. So we have, I'll show you this two page spread first. Uh, yes, it goes like this right here. So we've got this page and this page very similar, right? So we've got hip hip hooray on that one. Spring is everywhere. And this is um, totally drawing a blank, but this is the designer series paper that is in the current annual catalog free with a $150 order. Um, that's what host benefits start at. So you can still get to this designer series paper for four more days, right? And then the cute little, love these little stitching. And then, ooh, these are like elegant faceted gems. Those are retiring also. Plus I think those are so cute, that little die. This is from, I think it's the He's All That dies right there. And then these actually are in there also. So lots of good label dies in that He's All That die set, right? And then, so we make three pages. So we made that two, two page coordinating spread. And then here was the other page. I think this is called the flowers, flowers and more. This is the designer series paper, the host paper that's in the mini catalog. And then I love that die there too with the let's celebrate you. Very pretty, pretty, huh? Okay. Just had to share those. And you know what I have to do? I have to share one more time the new colors. Actually, we'll flip them. Let's go this way, right? So these are some of our brand new colors again. So you can see those right there, right? And then these are the in colors that came back as core colors right there. Again, all the blues and greens, right? Beautiful. I have so much fun playing with that new stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. Find my grid paper and we are going to get started on our stamping. Okay, so let's make sure this is in view. Okay. Yep. All right, we're good there. Okay, so again, Cheerful Daisy stamp set, brand new. You can start ordering on Tuesday and the Cheerful Daisies dies, right? Okay, so first card featuring a bunch of our new colors. So we have an Azure Afternoon card base. Nikki and Sandy, hello. Thanks for joining us, ladies. This one is Bubble Bath, and then this one is Lemon Lime Twist. And again, I used right here Lemon Lime Twist ink and Bubble Bath ink. And then you can kind of see that dye back there as well. And then we stamped some cute little flowers on the inside too. So let me show you how we are going to make this card. Again, our new colors, Azure Afternoon, Bubble Bath, and Lemon Lime Twist. Such a pretty color combination, right? Like I said, I think this would be great for a, a baby card also. Okay. So let's see. So a couple of these things had to be stamped and die cut a few times. So instead of watching me crank through the big shot a bunch of times, I'm going to just show you. I'll show you once, right? So I have three flowers already cut because I need four. And then this little spriggy... Almost looks like um, something you'd find in the sea, right? Uh, like a coral. You could do that in a pretty coral color, right? Okay, and then I've got some other pieces of cardstock here. So we are gonna start 
our card with our brand new Azure Afternoon card base along the 11 inch side. We cut it at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches. Okay, so there's our nice crisp fold on our card as always, right? Then on the inside of the card, we have basic white four by five and a quarter inches, okay? And then on the outside of the card, we have th these two pieces of cardstock that measure the same size, lemon lime twist, bubble bath, these both measure uh, three and three quarter by five inches. And as always, all of the details, item codes, names, everything that you need to know to recreate and order the products to recreate these cards will be on my blog at Gathering Ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon. Okay. And then I just have some extra kind of scrap pieces of basic white cardstock to do our stamping and die cutting. Okay. So let's see. Why don't we, let's do our stamping. So we're gonna just stamp those cute little flowers on the inside first. So we've got our lemon lime twist ink. And let's see, I'm gonna just put a little scrap piece underneath here, right? Okay, cause you know, I like to kinda have them falling off the edge, but I don't wanna get ink all over everywhere, okay? So then we are going to Let's stamp again on, this is our little piece right here. So now, this one, I actually just stamped this other, let me show you guys, on the stamp set. So this is the one I just stamped right here, and then I'm just gonna stamp this one on here. You can, if it's a light enough or if you stamp off, you can stamp these together. I didn't think I needed it though, to be honest. Um, maybe because this color is already bright enough has a lot going on so I just stamped that one like that and then we're going to do the inside of the daisy in our bubble bath I'm glad you like this card Philomena I was just so excited to play with our new colors so nice easy tap 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 there okay all right um any other stamping oh yes okay so we're going to do the little you made my day in our azure afternoon um Let's see, you made my day right here. Okay, so we've used all of these stamps. And then I've just got, I brought a few strips in case it didn't go well. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna stamp in our Azure afternoon with this, you made my day. Okay, let's see, so our nice easy tap, tap, tap. We are going to press straight down and straight up. Okay, I'm gonna try one more time just to see if I'm gonna like it better. Actually, let's flip it over, right? Sometimes I feel like I get a little, yep, I like that one better. There we go. So yeah, I on, only two times did I have to do that. So that's good, right? Okay, now let's see. So we're gonna just kind of trim this thing. We just did that there. And then we're gonna just cut that there. And that is trash. Okay, so those are all ready to go. I'm gonna just trim this piece down because we just need that one little guy there. And then I think we are ready to do our embossing and our die cutting. So we're gonna emboss this new cute paint, the bubble bath color. Let's do that embossing first. Okay, so let's get this. Am I on? Yep, I'm on something. It didn't feel flat there. Okay, so. We are gonna use, this is the time-worn type embossing folder. Ha! <laughs> Nikki, I know, I like that color combo. She's saying she likes this, the Azure Afternoon and Lemon Lime Twist. Yes, very like fun, bright, springy, summery color combo. I agree. Okay, so, and then the bubble bath just kind of adds a little bit of subtle, pretty pink to it, right? Okay, so we're gonna just put this in here and crank this through and we're going to just get a little bit of embossing with our time-worn type embossing folder okay so you can see oh that's i think that's kind of the back side and then there's like the the debossed and embossed i guess is how i like to think about those right okay now we are going to do our die cutting okay so let's see we've got our this little piece and oops, I do need one more. So I'm gonna die cut this 
on the white also. So I'm just going to trim that down. There we go. Okay, so we've got that one. We've got that one. We're going to put this one right here. Okay, those right there. And then this little baby we're going to use on our daisy. Okay, just kind of get that so it's all lined up. And you guys know if, if the die moves, you have to move your paper. You can fight all day long trying to get that die to lay where you want it to, but that magnetic field, you cannot, you can't fight the magnetic field, right? So I, we were at class the other day and someone was getting frustrated with that. I'm like, you just have to move your paper. You can, <laughs> you can complain all you want, but <laughs> it's not going to do any good. So just move your paper to a spot where the die doesn't like wing off of the cardstock, right? Okay, so there we go. Or people use stickies too. That's another way to kind of keep things in place, right? Okay, so check out this little spriggy guy here. Ooh, you know what I didn't bring was my paper piercing tool. Let's see if we can use I need to get those things out. I do remember this from when I was working with it the other day. Let's see if that'll work. <laughs> you like that, right? Yes, you can't. It's the magnetism, right? You can't fight the, the magnetic field, the magnetism. There we go. Okay, that cute little spriggy guy there, right? And then check out this little baby. Yeah, I might need, we'll see huh? how this, ooh, actually it did pretty well, didn't it? Okay, so how about that, right? Isn't that cool? Uh, yeah, it looks like I might need to pop a little bit out there, but that's about it, right? Okay, did that come? I think it did. So beautiful, huh? Isn't that so cool? Okay, doo doo loo. All right, let's get this stuff off here too, right? Okay, so it's all ready to go for the next card when we're ready to do that. Okay, let's see, what do we got going now? I think we can... Can we put things together? I think we're at that point. I've got things spread out a little bit, so I'm like confusing myself. Okay, mm, here we go. We have our, let's put this on the inside. We're gonna do this one. So run it and tip it back, run it and tip it back, right? My daughter Lily is home. She just came home from school. Um, her first year of college, she's all done already. I literally feel like we just dropped her off, which was last August, but that's how time flies, right? Um, so anyway, I say that because she was helping me put some things together for the retreat tomorrow, and she had to use the adhesive, and she really loved the snail and hadn't really gotten on board with this new seal adhesive, um, but she was great yesterday. I was like, oh, you have that all figured out now, don't you? And she's like, yep, I sure do. Of course, the other funny thing was she was talking with her boyfriend um, last night. She's like, yep, my mom's already got me working hard for her. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, well, welcome home. <laughs> it was perfect timing because I had a lot I needed to do for this retreat. So <laughs> I was like, thank you for coming home when you did, Lily. That works out really well. Okay, so you can see I just used my little silicone mat, works great, so then I don't get adhesive all over my work paper. We are gonna just lay that maybe right about there. Then we're actually going to put both of these on here and I'm gonna just add a little bit of adhesive. And you wanna be careful because they're pretty delicate. I did like a rip one apart. Um, so we're gonna just leave those there for a sec and we are going to, with our four flowers, right, our little lemon lime twist and bubble bath flowers, we're just going to put some dimensionals behind these guys, okay, and then we're going to just kind of sprinkle them on our card. Let's see, I did maybe one there, and I kind of curled them up a little bit too after the fact, right, so maybe we'll put one there. And we're gonna do one right there. And then one more right there. Okay, then I just kind of laid that. We're gonna put a couple of dimensionals on the back or maybe just one. So I should have brought my minis. I'm trying to get this so that you don't see it, but I think that'll work, right? If we just kind of lay that right about there should be good and then we're just going to kind of tuck these underneath i just kind of liked adding like that little bit of texture 
onto the card. Let's see, I gotta get underneath this flower too because I don't really want it hanging off the edge of the card. There we go. Okay, we almost have it, right? So then I just kind of curled these up a little bit. Hello, Deb, how are you? I just kind of like to make them like they have a little bit of texture or dimension, right? Kind of curling them up a little bit there. Okay, and then lastly, we have these carried over to our new annual catalog, the pastel adhesive back sequins. You can see they come in like smaller size and larger size. I've got a whole nother pack right here too in gold. This is not bubble bath, but I thought it worked just fine. It's one of our other pinks, maybe a petal pink. And then um, that might be Coastal Cabana. Um, but I'm going to just use, I like the little ones. So just kind of, I even just use my fingernail, just kind of dig underneath there to make sure you get the glue dot. Whoops, I don't think I did on that one. And put that one maybe right about there. There we go. So there's our first project. Graduation cards. Nice. Yay. All right. I can't wait to see your graduation cards. It's that time, isn't it? Right? Okay. So there's a the cute. You made my day. I'm glad you like those colors too. Me too, Beth or uh, Deb. Excuse me. I know. I'm loving those colors as well. Okay. Let's see. We are going to, uh, I'm going to kind of clean these stamps off. Just get these with my little chamois, right? Oop, I see a little bit of blue still on that one. I'm gonna try that one more time. I do need to <laughs> re-wet this, and I haven't done that in a while. So it's very crunchy around the edges, but the middle is still wet, so it still works. I use it until I can get to the sink. <laughs> We're not gonna do that right now, though. Okay, all right, so project number one. There we go. I think we've got everything, right? Okay, so, so cute, huh? I love, love the colors too. I really, really do. Excited about playing with all of those new in colors. Okay, or not new in colors, but just new colors, right? Okay, so card number two. I like to kind of curl this up also. So here's another daisy card. Again, featuring those radiating stitches dies that are gonna be available. Um, supposed to be available around the week of May 8th. So coming up very quickly now. But again, I love, love that, right? That big die, because it shows so much of the detail. And then the smaller one there too. And then also using the Cheerful Daisies dies and stamp set. Okay, so let's see. Get my inks out here. Oh, and then we're using more new colors. These are um, returning in colors. Misty Moonlight, Lost Lagoon, and Berry Burst. Very pretty color combination as well, I thought. Okay, so we're going to have some fun stamping. Oops, but let me tell you about dimensions of things here too. Okay, so we have, this is our Misty Moonlight card base, okay? Along the, uh, actually we'll go this way, along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches. This is a tall card, it's gonna go like that, okay? On the inside, we have a piece of basic white cardstock that measures four by five and a quarter inches, okay? And then on the outside, we have Berry Burst cardstock that measures, this one is four inches by five and three eighths inches. So that just kind of just fits right around the die. We're gonna use um, a piece of basic white cardstock for that radiating stitches die. This is Lost Lagoon cardstock for that die right there. And then we're gonna do some stamping and die cutting on this piece. I thought I had some more white. Um, but here, I can grab this other piece I think should work for these things right there as well. Uh, yeah. Oh, and then you can't even really see, but back inside there's a little stem. So we're going to just use a little strip here for the little stem that's back in there. I'll show you that when we're stamping it. Okay, so these are for die cutting. We're going to put those there. All right, let's do our flower first. So this one, we have our berry burst ink and we are i'm going to just use my little scrap piece of paper here we are going to well first how did i do this i think i'm going to 
um, do the inside first. So I'm gonna stamp that. We're gonna stamp that off. And then I'm gonna press firmly because I still want quite a bit of color on there. There we go, okay. And then we're gonna use the outline. I'm gonna go that way. Okay, let me get my glasses <laughs> on here. We'll see what we can do. The camera, like where it is, is like literally right in my way. Like that's where I would want my head. So if it doesn't work out, it's not because I'm not a good stamper. It's because the camera's in the way. But hey, I think I did a really, really good job on that one. Oh, yes. Okay, so Monica. Yes, those radiating stitches dies. Let me show you those too. Um, they are part of the online exclusive. So that's why you maybe haven't seen them at all because they're not in any of our catalogs. So they've got three different sizes of rectangle dies and then there's a heart and a couple little circles. Um, so you can see the circles a little bit better right here. So there's one, there's the bigger circle and there's the little circle, okay? So those two right there are those right there. And then this size is that medium one there. So yeah, awesome set of dies there. Item number 161595. Let me <laughs> put my glasses on. Yep, 161595. And I'll include that on my blog too. This afternoon at gatheringinspiration.com. Okay, so we've got that little guy right there. Now we are going to, let's stamp our Lost Lagoon, our little stem. Okay, we're gonna just stamp that. I'm gonna do one more because I'm a little bit off the paper there. There we go. Um, oh, and then we also need leaves. I actually already cut one of the leaves, so I'm just gonna stamp that one right there. I have another one cut because there's only one die for that. And then, let's see, we're gonna use our, make our sentiment right here. Wishing you the brightest birthday. We'll put that one right there. And then on the inside of the card, let's do our stamping on that one also. So we've got that little stamp and die on the inside there. Okay, so we're gonna do, oops, I need my Berry Burst ink open again. And I'm gonna do my little scrap piece of paper because that's gonna kind of fall off the edge right there, right? And then this little center in, what is that, Misty Moonlight, I think? gonna do that right there. There we go. Okay, I think we've got our stamping done. So again, Lost Lagoon Berry Burst and Misty Moonlight is our color combo for this project. Okay, I think we are ready to do our die cutting. We're just gonna trim these things down so we don't have a bunch of extra stuff that we don't need. Okay, so we're die cutting these guys right here. Okay. Actually, you know what? I think it's easier to just have everything separate so that way if you're trying to fight the magnetic field, there's less fighting, you know, because you can move each piece of paper around. Okay, so again, here are all of our cheerful daisy dies. We're gonna use this label right there. This one is gonna be for our stem. They should have made two leaves, I think. Um, that's for our leaf. And then, yeah, this is the flower. We're gonna die cut just that one right there, okay? All right, so we just have to get these things lined up. That's good there. That's good there. So we, um, my aunts and cousins and I drove to Nashville, Tennessee last Thursday morning and we spent the weekend um, listening to so much amazing live music. Just kind of walking up and down Broadway, um, which is kind of the main street in Nashville. And there are so many bars and restaurants and the crazy thing is like, you know, there might be one bar and it might have like, I don't know, three or four or five different levels. And there's a different band could be on each level. And they don't really, they don't interfere with each other either somehow. I don't know if it's just how they're made, built, something. But so yeah, if you're, if you're listening to one and you're like, eh, I want to check out something else, you just go upstairs or downstairs and there it is. So how about that die, right? Wishing you the brightest birthday. Okay, so we got that one, and then the little stem. Gotta be careful not to lose that little guy, right? So there's our little stem. 
Okay. And oh, and I forgot to stamp the inside of that. Nobody told me. Okay, I'm gonna do that right now. Okay. That's all right though. And then our little leaf. We have our little lost lagoon leaf right there. Okay, so I think we're good. All right, let's get this. Oh yeah, don't lose that little one, right? Okay. All right, so what was I gonna, oh, I was gonna stamp the inside of this flower with my Misty Moonlight ink. Okay, and we're gonna just pop that right in there. There we go. Okay, I think we are ready to put this card together. I think I've got all my pieces. Oh, no, we're not. We've got to do our stitches. We've got to do our radiating stitches, guys. Hold on. <laughs> okay. Let's do these. I might have to do two separate because I'm not sure if they're both going to fit on at the same time. So, again, here are our radiating stitches dies. We're going to use the, the biggest two dies in here. So, we're going to use that one. We're going to use that one. Okay. Um, maybe it'll fit. Let's try it and see, huh? We have that one. Yeah, I think it's just, maybe just gonna fit, right? Okay. I think. All right, we just have to move this this little bit. There we go. So yeah, anyway, ooh, okay. <laughs> So Nashville was great. It, it's a little crazy these days too, though. I, I would suggest going earlier in the day and then, you know, not being out. <laughs> I think the really rowdy people come out later <laughs> is what we figured out. So that's kind of what we did. We, we would go earlier in the day and then be home at a reasonable hour um, or back at our hotel, I guess I should say. Okay. So there is one of the stitches and then here, and it looks like, eh, it's because I kind of laid them on top of each other. Hold on, let me put my glasses on. We're going to just kind of trim that off right there. There we go. Okay, I think I've got, I've flung everything everywhere now, but I think we still have what we need. Cheryl, hello, welcome, welcome. Okay, this is our card. This is what we're working on here. So let's, we can put things together now. Okay, so this was the inside of the card, okay? So let's move that so we don't get ink on our card base. Such a pretty stamp, right? We're gonna have lots of fun playing with that one, okay? Next, we are going to put our Berry Burst cardstock on our card front, okay? Oops, all right. And this one is, and it's purposefully meant to be not quite as wide on the side as on the top and the bottom, just so that this fits perfectly on there. So it's not completely symmetrical for those of you that really appreciate that. This, it, it's kind of throwing me a little bit too, to be honest, but <laughs> I'm gonna survive that I'm seeing more blue on the sides than I am on the top and the bottom, but it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put some dimensionals behind our Lost Lagoon radiating stitch die. Okay, just gonna pop those over there. And I love this. How, um, oops, just at the last second, I moved my cardstock a little bit. I love how these layer perfectly together right there, too. Isn't that cool? Okay, then we are going to put some. I've got my other little guy. Yep, I've got my little leaf there. Okay, let's see. So I need some dimensionals. I'm gonna put one behind here and a couple behind here. And then I'm, now I'm kicking myself. I don't use the mini dimensionals very often, but now I need one for that little leaf. So we're gonna just cut, you guys do that, just use your edges. And we're gonna just put that right on there. Okay, so we're gonna put our flower. I'm just gonna kind of curl it up a little bit. We're gonna put our flower right there. Now we're going to use our little silicone mat again, best little invention ever, and just add a little bit of adhesive onto our stem right there, okay? We are going to add our sentiment, wishing you the brightest birthday, and then we're going to add 
our little leaves. We're gonna put one there. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. I'm glad you're enjoying these cards. I like them too. And then I don't know what happened. Well, I do. I absolutely do know. I couldn't find the end <laughs> of the twine. And so when this was a big bold, I just like pulled the piece and like cut it and started with it. So this is where I'm at now. But I'm still, it's still working. I mean, it's actually not all like tangled up. It just kind of looks like it because it's all curled up. So, but it's still working just fine. So we're going to make a little linen twine bow. And then we're going to add that onto our card. Okay, so it's very, oops, sorry. I, I threw those just right, so they kind of hit the <laughs> hit the, the stand. Sorry about that, and then it's like shaking. Okay, and we're gonna just add that little guy right there. Okay, so what do you guys think? Isn't this a beautiful set? Beautiful new Cheerful Daisies stamp set, right? Okay, so. If you are new to me, especially if you don't know the drill, this is what we do, right? If you put an online order in through me using this host code, the PQT44TN2, you're going to get both of these cards as a thank you from me for your order. Your name is going to go into the drawing to win the In Color Glimmer Paper. And you also get to pick from, and actually it's going to be the May PDF tutorial or the free embellishment for May which are these in colors, the 2022, 24, they're an in color pearl and they're beautiful in our um, in colors that came out last year. So that's gonna be the free embellishment um, for May. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Like I said, everything will be posted on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon so you can get your order together, all right? Thanks ladies, we'll talk to you soon. Bye, have a great weekend.